What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. This weekend is Riorama. Today is the first day and I'm going to be having Instagram control what I do for the weekend. I recently did a video where I had book talkers and booktubers control my day so that will be up here if you would like to watch it. It's such a fun video. So now it's my Instagram followers turn to pick what I do for the weekend. So last night I went onto Instagram and I posted a picture of my TBR and asked what book I should read first and here are the results. I'm actually really surprised. So last night when I checked, Imaginary Borders did not have any votes. The winner of that poll was Stand Up Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim. I'm really surprised because no one picked the shorter books. I would have liked to start out with the shorter books, but it's fine. Maybe it's better to just get this one out of the way. It's really short. I believe it's, oh, it's 306 pages. I mean, it's a, it's like middle grade 306 pages, but come on, why? Why do you have to do that to me? I know I'll like it, so it's fine. So how it's going to work is today's Friday, the best day for many reasons. Today, the regular season starts for hockey and I am so excited. Um, it's like Christmas for me. I wish I was there. Usually I go to the home openers. It's the first time since 2013 that they've played at home to kick off the season. So it's, it's irony that it's happening in 2021. And it is October 15th and two of the books that I pre-ordered are coming out today and hopefully coming in the mail for me. And it's Friday. Friday is always good. I'm very excited. So I am going to kick off the vlog start reading Yumi Chung. Maybe you can pick my bookmark and get the day going. I already got my coffee because there was a little situation. I'm not going to do coffee today because I do have to work today and I just want to be able to scatter this throughout the weekend and not do like every individual thing that I do. So you'll control some of my things. I also want to do something in one of the books I read and I feel like Yumi Chung because it's contemporary is going to have that. So hopefully I can find something in here that I can do and that I'm gonna have you vote. So good morning, happy hockey season and happy reader Rama. I'm gonna get started with a day. I have some work to do and I have to get my captions up on today's video that's going out. I read YouTubers books and I really had fun doing it and I had a lot of fun editing it. So I'm excited to see what everyone else thinks of it. I'm going to start my day reading Yumi Chung, but I've also been doing a separate video where I try and write every morning. So I think that might be my next poll is how long should I write for? Hello, it is 11 o'clock. I just did some polls. So let's look at the results. I wasn't going to have you pick my clothes, but it's hockey season. So I had you pick what shirt I'm going to wear today for when I do some work. And then for tonight, which jersey I should wear. I'm interested to see what the result is going to be of that one. I don't have a preference. I love both of those jerseys. Um, my orange and white one is the most comfy and it's very light. The black one makes me sweat. So hoping that the orange one actually is our winner. So let's look at the polls from an hour ago because they are going to determine what I do next. So how long should I write for today was the next poll. I gave you an hour or 30 minutes and 83% says one hour. So I guess I'm gonna write for an hour. It's 11 o'clock, so I will do that at the end of the hour. And next, I asked you to pick my bookmark, either this plaid bookmark I got from Angel's Shop, which will be linked down below, or this Halloween one that I have that is a gravestone that says RIP. And I don't remember who this is from. If I do, I'll link it down below. So the winner was the plaid bookmark. And so I'm going to just slip that on. I have another one of this. It's in another book. My currently reading list is scary. I have picked up so many books and just have not 
finish them. It's terrifying. I might honestly have like 10 books on there. It's, it's scary. I've never been in like a slump like this before, but I am excited to read this book. So I'm gonna go write for an hour and then probably get some work done and decide what I'm going to wear for the day. An hour and nine minutes I got. I'm trying to hit 40k by the end of this week, just trying to set some little goals for myself. So hopefully I will get that done at the end of this weekend. Um, but you're gonna just have to see my writing vlog for that. So I am moving on to the next poll. This was what I'm going to wear because I need to actually get some work done now. Um, and I have a little issue. <laughs> um, let's check the poll and then I'll tell you what happened. 75% says the orange shirt, which has fly or die. Um, and I have an issue. <laughs> Someone decided that they would sleep on my clothes. Um, so he's actually sleeping on the one that everyone picked on Instagram. So this is more of like a Leo picks situation. Hello, I got a shower and 78% of you voted for this shirt. This is my fly or die shirt. I actually got it in 2020 when I went to the home opener um, before everything happened. So that's pretty cool. So thank you for voting. I am going to get some work done because it's 1.30 and I will be back tonight. Bye. It's officially the weekend. <laughs> I just finished work. It's five o'clock, so I have two hours before the game. Um, I wanna order some food. I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna listen to my hockey podcast and try and get some reading in. But while I'm here, let's look at the poll to see what jersey I'm going to wear. And it is 67% for black and orange, which is my Wayne Simmons jersey, the one that's very hot. <laughs> Wayne Simmons is my favorite player, so I get it, awesome. But why? Why? <laughs> Everyone just woke up today and chose violence or just chose to destroy my weekend. <laughs> so now I have time to actually start my reading for the readathon. I'm gonna listen to my hockey podcast and then I will be back tonight when it is time for me to put on my jersey. Fit check. <laughs> We've got the jersey everyone picked out on Instagram, my khakis, and I'm ready for hockey. I just ordered some food and I'm very excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm happy now. <laughs> Unless something happens, I'm very happy now. I don't like to. Sh I don't like to shoot out. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it for the first time. I just don't like shootouts. I don't think that they really solve anything. And that's it. We lost to the fucking Canucks. Good morning. It's nine o'clock. I just woke up and set my first poll for the day asking if I should go to a coffee shop or if I should just have coffee at home. I really want to go to a coffee shop, but I really want coffee right now. So <laughs> I don't. I don't care what happens, honestly, but I would like to go to a coffee shop. Hello. I waited about maybe a half hour and I'm going to check the poll. <laughs> okay, we have a 60% coffee shop, so I'll be going to a coffee shop. So next I have to put up some polls. And in the middle of that, my camera died, so I had to change out the batteries and I also put up two more Instagram stories, having you decide what I order. So I had you pick hot or iced coffee and for the flavor, caramel or pumpkin. I feel like most people are going to say pumpkin, 
fine with me, but I really like uh, the caramel cold brew at this coffee shop. So I'm actually gonna read there for maybe like an hour or so, and I will be back. Hello, let's check the bowl. I'm really hoping it's iced. I love iced coffee. Three for hot. <laughs> I'll check the poll when I get to the coffee shop if it has changed, but right now we're going with a hot pumpkin latte, coffee, anything. So I'll see you at the coffee shop. <laughs> coffee shop I sat and read there because I asked you if I should read inside or outside and we'll get to that in a couple minutes but I ended up getting a hot pumpkin latte I'll call it because I just got a coffee with pumpkin syrup and cream <laughs> because they didn't really have like a pumpkin drink which was weird. I feel like they have more iced drinks. And when I got to the coffee shop, the poll was 50-50 for iced and hot. So I just went with what was winning originally. But I did put up some other polls for the rest of the day. And when I was at the coffee shop, I asked you, should I read inside or outside? And you picked inside. It was very dark in there and hard to read because there was a lot of people. Usually when I go there, it's not as packed. So good for them, but not good for me. <laughs> so I read in the dark a little bit, but I'm actually glad you picked inside because when I went outside to leave, it was super windy and not good reading weather whatsoever. So I'm glad I read inside. I really like the interior of that coffee shop. So it was fun, good vibes besides it being very dark. <laughs> the polls that I just put up are determining what I do for the evening. So I will visit them when the time comes, but I just got a package in the mail. It's a picture book that I bought. So I want to open it. I thought my pre-orders were coming yesterday, but I got the pub date wrong and they're actually coming out on Tuesday, which actually works out for me so much better because then I can read the one book that's coming for another video um, and it'll be nice. So let's, let's open this though. I'm very excited for it. It came really quick. I like just bought it this week. So I'm very glad. Oh, it comes with like a little note and all. I'm so excited. This is I Am A Prince by Damien A. Lopez. I believe I saw this on TikTok um, or Instagram. I know I follow the author on Instagram. This is a trans mask picture book and I'll have the link down below if you would like to buy it. This is not sponsored or anything like that. I just bought it because I wanted it and I work with children's books. So I've been collecting and just looking through them. And I just think that this is fun to have. It says the prince knew from a young age he wasn't meant to wear princess dresses or crowns. The prince tried to find the words to share his feelings about his gender to his parents. Being yourself takes a little bit of courage and a whole lot of love. I am so excited to read this. Oh, I love this. I love that so much. Cool. Great purchase. Would recommend. <laughs> Hello, it is 10 o'clock and I have finished my first book of the read -a <coughs> Go Ming. I'm going to be giving it a five star. I really enjoyed the messages inside this book. This has a lot of great conversations going on. Yumi is a Korean American girl. Her parents are immigrants and her and her sister are dealing with a lot of pressures that come from having immigrant parents. And so there's a conversation where her sister brings up how they need to live for themselves and not their parents. 
and they just really learn about why their parents are so strict. And I really enjoyed that. I think it's really good and I would recommend it. As always, I'll link down below some own voices reviews, but I really enjoyed this. I would highly recommend it. Another huge aspect of the book is comedy. Yumi really wants to be a comedian and she ends up enrolling in a comedy camp by accident. Tomorrow's the last day of the readathon and the last day of this vlog, so I still want to incorporate doing something from one of my books. So I think I'm going to choose this one because it's a contemporary because the next two books I have on my TBR are nonfiction and a play. And I don't think that these are going to really have something that I can do. So I wrote down some things from this book, but I'll decide that tomorrow and I'll let you know in the next clip. Okay, so the last three polls that I posted 11 hours ago, <laughs> Um, is that correct? 11 hours ago? Okay, I guess it is. So 11 hours ago, I put up this poll that says, choose my plans for this evening. I'm actually going to do these tomorrow because it's 10 o'clock. I was reading all day. I don't think I'm going to have time for this. So you could choose between me making a pumpkin treat or watching a horror movie. And 62% says horror movie. I'm very excited about that. And then I said, vote for my next read and Imaginary Borders one. And I believe that's because that might be the one that's most recognizable. Um, Dead White Writer on the Floor, I have only heard from Bear. Since you picked movie, I have two options. <laughs> Either There's Someone Inside Your House, which just came out. It is the adaptation of Stephanie Perkins' book. I DNF'd that book. I don't have plans to read it ever again, but I would like to watch the movie or The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring is one of my favorite horror movies and I have not watched the rest of the trilogy, so I wanted to watch it, but I think that, I mean, unless it changes tomorrow, I believe I'm going to be watching There's Someone Inside Your House. So that's my plan for tomorrow and then We'll see what else I can have everyone decide for Sunday. Hello everyone, it is Sunday, the last day of the readathon and the last day of this vlog. So I have two more books to read for the readathon. I just started Imaginary Borders, like I just started the first sentence of it and I know I'm really going to enjoy it. And then I will finish out the day with Dead White Writer on the Floor by Drew Hayden Taylor. And we have a reading sprint tonight at five, so I will probably be reading this during that. And I made some polls last night and I have some results. So today I am going to watch a horror movie. Currently it is neck and neck with The Conjuring 2 and There's Someone Inside Your House. There's Someone Inside Your House is currently winning, but we'll see what happens when the polls are finished. Like I said yesterday, I wanted to do something that happened in Stand Up Yumi Chung and I am having you decide between me getting boba because they get boba in this book. She gets a giant matcha green tea with mochi balls or tacos because they go to a taco truck. I was not able to find a taco truck but I am going to get tacos because Currently, tacos are in the lead, which I'm really surprised about um, because boba is actually very popular. Uh, I had it for the first time when I was in California, but at the moment, tacos are 83%, 29 votes for tacos, and 6 for boba. So I hopefully am going to be getting tacos at the end of the day, which is totally fun for me. And I had you pick between me getting coffee at Duncan or Wawa. Wawa is a tri-state area thing and Florida. So I know not many people are going to know what it is, but currently there's 34 votes for it. However, Duncan won with 66% and I just put in an order on DoorDash. So I ended up getting a hot coffee because it is 57 degrees out, it's hoodie weather, it's beanie weather, and so I my iced coffee days are over. <laughs> um, I'm really not someone who drinks iced coffee when it's cold out. I just can't do it. So I'm going to get some tacos tonight and watch a horror movie. 
this poll is like really neck and neck. I'm actually surprised. There is 16 votes for The Conjuring 2 and 19 votes for um, There's Someone Inside Your House. So I will let you know what I watch when this poll is finished. I haven't officially started reading for the day because I was doing some YouTube brainstorming for my booktube costumes video so I was just writing some things down. This is an annual thing on my channel every Halloween. I create booktube related costumes that are just based off booktube trends of the year so that playlist will be up here. I have been doing this for the whole duration of my channel pretty much. Um, I would say like maybe the last four or five years I've been doing it but I had to private the other ones for my own privacy so the last two are up and they're actually some of my favorites so if you're interested you can go and watch it but I think this year's is going to be really fun. So I am going to actually start reading for the day and I'll let you know when my Duncan arrives. So I ended up getting a hot French vanilla coffee small from Duncan because everyone decided Duncan and this just feels like a perfect fall day. So I'm going to read and drink my coffee and have some of the breakfast that I got from Duncan. So thank you for voting and I will see you later. Hello, let me make this quick. I have to get on the live stream very soon, but I successfully finished my second book, Imaginary Borders by Shutescott Martinez. I will actually have some links down below to his work. He is a Mexican and indigenous activist who is also a hip hop artist. He is a hip hop artist who uses his art to teach activism. He has a organization called Earth Guardians and I'll have that link down below and he also did something with Nike that I just recently watched so I'll link that down below as well if you just want to know more about him. I have two of the Pocket Change Collective books left and this is definitely going in my top five favorites. I really loved it. He talks about climate change but not just about global warming. He talks about how it is more of a cultural issue and how marginalized communities are the most affected by climate change. I loved this so much. Anyway, if you're looking to learn more about climate change from the perspective of a person of color, I really enjoyed this. I learned a lot and I'm definitely going to look up some of the things that he mentioned. And there was an app that he mentioned as well. So that could also go with my theme of wanting to do something in a book. But I have to get on a live stream and I will be back hopefully with tacos. I'm going to order my tacos after the live stream. Goodbye. Hello, I am thrilled to announce that I have just successfully completed my TBR for the spooky weekend of Rita Rama 2021. A couple of minutes ago, I finished up Dead White Writer on the Floor. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I haven't read a play in about six years, so I'm not going to give it a full star rating because I don't feel equipped enough to be rating it. So, Based on my overall enjoyment, I really enjoyed it. This is a mystery about identity politics featuring famous native characters like Pocahontas and Tonto. And all of the native characters are locked in a room and they find a dead white writer and it is a whodunit situation. All of the characters are pointing fingers and trying to figure out how the writer actually died and they learn about their stories and that's where identity politics comes into play. So I really enjoyed this and if you like to read plays I would recommend this to you and I will have Bear's link down below 
in their Indigathon 2020 tag. They mentioned this book, so that link will be down below. So that concludes my reading for the spooky weekend of Readorama. Let me know in the comments if you participated, what your favorite book was of the Readathon, and I have one last task to complete. I already got my tacos. They were awesome. I went to this local Mexican-owned restaurant around the corner from me, and I got some really good tacos and guacamole and chips. And now I will finish out the weekend by watching the horror movie my Instagram followers chose, There's Someone Inside Your House. Bro, you never go back inside the house. That's the first rule of a horror movie. Don't go back inside the house. And that is it for my Reader Rama Spooky Weekend vlog where Instagram picks what I do. Thank you for watching. Thank you if you participated on Instagram. Without you, this video would not have been possible. And if you want to join in on fun videos like this, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks and hit subscribe if you haven't. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me further. You can pledge one dollar to become a paperback pal and help me fund fun videos like this. Let's do a quick wrap up of the books I read. I read Stand Up You Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim, giving it a five star. This was for the challenge to read a book with fall colors on the cover. Next, I read Imaginary Borders by Shu Tescott Martinez, giving it a five star. This completed the challenge to read a short book by a BIPOC author. This was 63 pages. And to read a book with Rama in the title or author. And I think that that was it for this. I gave it a five star, really enjoyed it. And last, I read Dead White Writer on the Floor, and this completed the challenge to read a book with a spooky word in the title, and I didn't give this a rating. Don't forget to check my description before this video ends. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so more people can see it, and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.